Okay, do not watch this sitting down. I want you to join me. Hop up, go grab your favorite candle. I'm using one of my Hive and Home candles. We are gonna do our Be Awesome in April cleaning challenge. And y'all, this is just the happiest time to kind of take back your home for spring. For those of you who have the Passionate Penny Pincher Home Planner, we will be tackling our goal is to tackle these things every single day this month. So right up here in the left corner. So if you guys have the planner, say, yes, I have the planner, I'm with you, Laurie. If you don't have the planner, I have an option for you guys too. So we're gonna tackle, this is our kind of A minus work. So we're not gonna do every single thing in the planner, but we're still gonna be pretty awesome. We're gonna do it together. As you're hopping on, tell me good morning, tell me if you're joining the challenge. If you don't have the planner and you're new around here, we also have some daily checklists we can send you out that kind of correspond with the planner. They're not exactly the same thing, but it kind of is. So you can click the link in the video for those. Um, they're pretty fantastic. You're going to love those. So I'm going to grab a pen and I'm going to start my list. Y'all know I keep my, I'll show y'all my planner corner. I keep it right over there. It's over in that corner. We're going to walk through all of this stuff together and just do it. Good morning, Terry Lynn. It is 6 a.m. there. Y'all tell me where you're at this morning. Hop up and watch if you're joining me. My daughter has kind of a weird school and some Mondays she goes a little bit late to school so this is her late start day so i have like i have 20 minutes to get this done so let's see what we can do so i we're going to start with the beginning of our checklist and i'll do it in both so you guys can kind of see actually let's do it in this one so you can see so if you have the planner you know but here it is these things are the same every day so i've exercised this morning and showered and started a load of laundry i'll clean the bathroom sinks i've made the beds we're going to tidy main living space prep and make dinner i need to, i did do that prep meals for the next day. I'll do that later today. Wash, put away dishes. We're gonna start with the kitchen. So first thing we're gonna do is do clear these countertops. So it's Reagan's birthday, as y'all can see from the celebrate sign over here. Here's her birthday. She is so sweet, bless her heart. She came down early for her birthday and we made, she had made waffles for herself so that on her birthday, this is third child. First child, I would have made waffles for. Third child, Saturday she made waffles so that she would know that Monday for her own birthday, she would have waffles. So she already had her waffle this morning. I did set out this little area so she would have a happy place. And these are her little 15 guys. I'm gonna leave these out for her. Y'all say happy birthday to Reagan. Um, she loves when y'all say hi to her. She's so cute. She's like, your ladies like me, mama. I think your ladies like me. So y'all wish her a happy birthday and I'll tell her to watch. She has this much left. I am not, y'all. This is B minus work right here. If I was doing A minus work, I would put this in a smaller container. Actually, this is what we're going to do. B minus ladies. I don't have time to deal with that. I know she's going to use it again tomorrow. So all I'm going to do, y'all, we are fighting for B minus work. You do not have to do everything perfectly. My mother-in-law would have taken the time, and I love my mother-in-law to pieces. She would have taken the time to clean that off, put it in a smaller container, all those things. Y'all, I don't have time for that. I'm sticking this in the fridge right now. going to clear off the space, make a little, oh, it's got waffle everywhere. We're going to clean all this off. Hang on. I need a rag. I would say I'm going to grab my, this is my Method Daily Granite. This needs a deep clean because it's pretty grody. So I'm going to do this first. Y'all, thank you for telling her happy birthday. So tell me, what do y'all do for your kids on their birthdays? She is, bless her heart, she's the third child and she is the middle of birthday season at our house. So I have one more birthday. Jackson turns way too old next weekend. And so I kind of like, so I kind of am bad about like the first kid, the February birthday is early in birthday season. I'm like, okay, big birthday, let's go all out. By the time I get to April, I'm like, here's a cake guys. Good luck. I hope you have a great day. It kind of gets a little simpler as they go. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scoot this back here. I'm actually gonna come over here. So it, I made the strawberry cake this weekend for Jackson who was here. So I have strawberry goo all over this section because I'm not doing a good job cleaning it. So I'm gonna clean this up over here. And as you're watching y'all, you better be cleaning your counters with me. If you're watching, can you clean your counters with me this morning? Thank you, Linda, for wishing her a happy birthday. I'm just gonna clear all these countertops because I have not done this. I don't do a deep clean of these guys, I'll be honest, every day I do a quick swish, but then once a week, I like to get them good. Okay, so now we're gonna do the sink, which is a disaster zone. 
I'm just saying, this is a mess. She has some, and she was so cute, y'all. I have to tell you about Reagan. Uh, we'll do our planner corner. Well, I'm gonna do these dishes and then I'll show y'all my planner corner. So Reagan this morning, she knows I get nervous every single time I do Facebook Live. And so I was like, sweetie, I've gotta get hop on Facebook Live real fast for our little encouraging session. And she said, mama, good luck before you do your Facebook Live. Good luck with your, your girlies. So she's so cute, she's the best cheerleader. Okay, so go ahead and get your kitchen sink done. I just like to do this. Here's the thing. If in the Passionate Penny Future Home Planner, some of y'all have said, how come some of these tasks are twice a day? When I've got, this weekend I had four of the five of us home. My sink, this is what it looks like. It's gross if I don't do it twice a day, like I didn't do it last night. Um, so, if you've got a bunch, if you've got little kids, and that's with older kids who are pretty great about helping me keep things clean. If you've got littler kids, they're gonna be even worse about it. So it is worth doing your sinks twice a day if you have a bunch of little kids. If you've got four little kids at home, you're washing that sink out twice a day just because, to me, it's like the only thing I can control, especially when my guys were little. Now, if it's just you and one other person at home, maybe, you probably don't need to do your sinks twice a day. Um, but I'll be honest. <laughs> They get gross fast, and I like to have a fresh, clean sink, and it keeps my dishes under control. So then I don't ever, I never ever have like a mound of dishes. How many of y'all, are you dish mounders? I guess I will say my mom growing up, we just never had a mound of dishes. So I've always just done dishes as they went, and I don't do everything. I certainly have had to learn in other areas of my life to not procrastinate, but when it comes to the dish deal, I just like it. You're gonna have to do, you will do the same number of dishes, whether you hop up right now and do them, or if you wait to do them. So you can let them go, you can just let them sit and not do them, and you will do the same number of dishes that I'll do if I keep up with them every day. Let's scrub this down just a little bit. These guys probably, you know what? I may put these in the dishwasher. I'm actually gonna stick, the, well, I don't have room for them. I need to put, I put these guys through the dishwasher every once in a while. You will do the same number of dishes whether you mound your dishes or if you do them all at once. So to me, I like having clean sinks. So if I'm gonna have to do the same number of dishes either way, why not do the same number of dishes? I'm just gonna wipe this down. Why not do the same number of dishes and have fresh, clean sink? You know? To me, it's just worth it because it doesn't, it's not like you're saving any time. By mounding dishes, you don't save any time. And bless you, I just have to say, who here does not have a dishwasher? Let me know if y'all don't have dishwashers. I just want to say to all the moms with dish with no dishwashers at home, you are rock stars. And if whatever you do with your dishes, bless you. I'm not going to give you any guidance on that because I cannot even imagine how hard that is to keep up with. Um, okay, I'm going to clear off the rest of this. What are your tips for those of you who don't have a dishwasher? What are your tips for managing that? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to... Mark everything off in here. So exercise, how many of y'all are doing this with me? Shower, make beds, start laundry, clean bathroom sinks, plan prep dinner, wash put away dishes, clean kitchen counters, wipe down kitchen sink, and tidy main living space. I'm gonna show y'all where I keep my planner at. So I keep my planner over in this corner. This is just kind of my like, this is my mom corner right here. You can see I keep my planner and my Bible. I have found for me, um, I'm not great about reading my Bible. I'm just gonna tell you, it's not something that naturally is easy for me. I love it when I do it, but it's not easy. If I put it away, I'm not gonna be somebody who's gonna go seek it out. So what I do is in the morning, when I get my cup of coffee, I come over here, I read my scripture, I journal a little bit, and this is where I keep all of my planner stuff. And I've just found keeping it out for me is really, really valuable. So same thing with the daily checklist, just keep them out somewhere for yourself to make it a little bit easier, um, and that'll make it harder. Angel, Angel, how do you handle not having a dishwasher? Because I bet that's what you're saying. Um, you hand wash everything, no dishwasher. Bless you, you are amazing. Like you guys really, truly, I feel like you just deserve an extra you are amazing. You're going to have extra crowns in heaven for what you're doing with your dishes. Okay, so that's my planner corner. That's where I keep everything. I read my one, my couple chapters of the Bible in the morning. I love reading it. I just don't, without keeping it out, I was never good at it. So having it right here, this is like my little happy space. So now let's come back over here, y'all. 
I'm gonna move y'all way back here, and I'm gonna do the last thing in here, which is to do the, I need to do a big job of this um, bar. Y'all know that we recently moved. Um, I love the layout of this house. This bar is crazy big. My old bar was big. This one is really big. And part of the reason I did it was because we test a lot of recipes. And so it's just nice to have a kitchen that worked for my business because I don't really have a place for my business. This is my business place. So um, this has been such a good space. But the bar is big and I don't really like having the sink. So yeah, I have the sink in the island and it's not, I kind of miss, especially for video. I'm not a big fan of the sink. My old one was just set up a little bit better. Um, yeah, anyways, but it is a very big bar. I don't know for cleaning purposes that I would recommend it, but I will say we eat dinner here 99% of the time because there's no reason. It's just easy and the chairs are comfortable. Yeah, okay, so here we go, y'all. How are we doing on our list this morning? If you're watching, how happy does it feel to have it done? I love it. Okay, I'm coming over here. Y'all, I love having my candle on in the morning. So I'm gonna take these in here. I'm gonna go ahead and set out a new fresh towel for myself. Sometimes one of the things that I really like to do is to set out a fresh towel. So a lot of people ask me, why, what does this even mean and why do you do this? This is really truly just like, this is like when you come into a hotel, you know when you go into a hotel and they've laid out the towels for you? I do this for my own self. Like it's like, oh, someone cared for me so much they let a towel out for me. I know that sounds so stupid. Y'all, I know you think I'm a dingbat right now, but it makes me happy. So I come in and I'm like, okay, my life is set ready to work. And it just makes my life happier. So that's one thing I do. Okay, so let me get this. The last thing we are gonna do, phew. How long has this taken us? Not too long. It hasn't been on that long even. Okay, come on over here, girls. Oh, so many questions and I can't see them all. I'll try to answer them after. Clean towels so you just feel fresh. What am I, oh, I clean my granite with Method Daily Granite and I really do love it. I love it for sure. Okay, so tidy main living space is next. The meals are done, wash, put away dishes, clean kitchen counters, wipe down kitchen sink, set out kitchen towels, sweep vacuum laundry. I'm gonna show you really quickly what we're gonna do on the kitchen, on the, um, in the family room, we're gonna do some our bigger project. Are y'all ready? So the A minus work, remember girls, is the top, for those of you who have the planner, it's the top left. It's similar to this. I should have put, we have a link for a free trial of these, but they're so inexpensive and they're gonna help you so much. Buy a pack of two or four and it will help you a ton. Hey Mary in Roanoke, Virginia. I'm so glad you're watching this. The last thing I'm gonna do is right over here. Are y'all ready? I'm hoping. I've never done this view in this kitchen before, in this house before. Do you see my dog? <laughs> Summit and I went for a four mile walk this morning. Can you tell that Summit is like, I'm done. This is what I kind of wish I was done with him. Okay, so I have not done, let me see if I can get this so you can see it. Okay, so I am gonna really quickly tidy this space and I'm actually gonna do A minus work on my couch. So, first of all, I will say this is a fairly new couch. We recently moved, so our house is not in horrible, horrible shape. If I was doing amazing work on my couch today, I would go and get my big vacuum and I would scrub it all in, like with a, with a big vacuum. I'm gonna use my A minus vacuum right here. This is my A minus vacuum. You can use it easier too. This is gonna be way easier than pulling out my vacuum and all of my attachments. So my job is to vacuum out the couch. I'm hoping y'all can see this. This is this big spring cleaning challenge that I want to tackle. I don't know if y'all can see this very well. Rather than using the big guy, can y'all see? I'm just gonna do this. And I'm actually, you know what, I should come over and do this one so you guys can see. I'm just gonna take all the cushions off real fast. My dog is not even gonna move. What's bad is normally that's my blanket. That is like my blanket. And I think when Jackson was home last night, he laid down on the floor with Summit, which I would never, he's furry. So I don't want my blanket to be covered in dog fur. And now I think Summit just took over. He's like, I got that blanket. Okay, what time are we at? Eight o'clock, I've got 10 minutes till I gotta take Raymond to school. 
Now, if you're working, obviously, if I, if I was not doing this as video, I would not do this before work. I'm only doing this because it's easy to get it done with you guys. Here we go. Oh. And the nice thing is when you do it regularly, it doesn't get awful, so it'll be easier to tackle. So just real quickly, I'm just gonna go through. It ran out of charge on me. Can you tell how often I use that thing? Anyways, I guess I'm going to finish it up here shortly. I'm going to go ahead and fold up my blanket. Oh, try to get all the dog fur out. This blanket I got from QVC this year, and I love it. It's super big and heavy. It's I just like it, but it does have holes in it. I more like the way it looks probably. It just looks so pretty that I have to use it. So I'm going to, I guess I'm going to leave that for now because I got to wait till I can finish vacuuming it up. I may put it back really quickly. I'm gonna push it back. I can't stand the leaf here. <gasps> Summit. Okay. I can't even believe that with my kitchen. It was just the backs, y'all. Don't tell anyone. This A minus girl. For right now, it's gonna stick her cushions back really fast because otherwise, I gotta start. I gotta take Raina to school with my cushions all done. And then I really do have to start to work. So here's another trick. How many of you guys work either at home or not at the house? Here's the thing, you guys. I have very limited time that I can do projects like this. They get, I don't want a whole ton of time. So this is like better than nothing. I really will finish this later. But if I went to work and left this to come home with, I couldn't do this. So I'm going ahead and pushing it back. Some of y'all are going to be horrified that I did not finish the job. Others of you will be like, thank you for being like me. Moms who work, even moms who don't work, all women, people who do your home, give yourself grace. As long as you keep your house mostly together, it's not awful. Y'all wanna tell Regan happy birthday? They were all telling you happy birthday. Here she is coming down the stairs with her sweet self. She never gets to take a plate up to her bedroom. It was her birthday. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so if you have to go to work, and you can't leave your kitchens like that because you're just like me. Y'all, I have to go take her to school. I am not going to leave my house like this. I have way too much to do today. So, it's okay. Like, nobody's going to die. Does that make sense? Dawn, I'm so glad you're cleaning me with me this morning. Okay, let's finish up. Because right now, I've got to school. Oh, she's got to pack her lunch. Okay, so she's going to pack her lunch. Do you mind if I finish up while you're packing? I do need to vacuum. I will vacuum this box of these later tonight. I will say too, if you don't have enough time to do it, don't start it. <laughs> if you don't have time to do it, kind of like I just did. Oh well, it's gonna be fine. Okay, so we're gonna do this. I'm just gonna get my family room back in decent shape so I can start work today after I drop her off at school. Fluff all these pillows a wee bit. One of the things on the planner each morning is to just tidy your main living space. It does not take much time at all. And it really does kind of help to finish, make you feel like you're pulled together when you start your house. So I'm gonna finish up over here. Here we go. Here is our main living space. I'm gonna tidy up these chairs. There's not a whole lot to do with them. These do need to be vacuumed for sure as I'm looking at them. I'm gonna vacuum them. I am gonna go. I promise I will recharge my vacuum and finish up. Okay, there we go. Thank y'all for wishing her a happy birthday. What'd you say? Let's see. You are much slower than you, but yes, you're cleaning. Love your couch. It's from Pottery Barn. Yeah. Okay, so Reagan, here's her packing her sweet bag of Aldi pretzels for lunchtime fix every day. There you go. Okay. So, here's what I want to encourage you. 
You will watch this a dozen times while you clean. I'm so glad. So many of you guys have said you enjoy cleaning with me. So this week, for sure, I'll be cleaning each morning, Monday through Friday. And I'll do them throughout the whole month. But we really want to work for these five days. So for five days, girls, grab your planners if you have a planner. Tell me if you have the planner already. What? And guys. Girls and guys. Okay, Reagan told me. <laughs> girls and guys. Anyone who is watching this, I think it's probably 99.9% .9 yeah. girls. But... Anyway, she's giggling at me over here. She got the cutest pair of jeans. Can I show y'all her? You want to show them your jeans in a second? After you finish making your lunch. I'll let y'all see her jeans. Anyways. Um, for a good price because I got them from Marshalls. Is that where you got them from? My husband took her shopping this weekend. Can you imagine? Which was actually great because he could put the dad, you're not going to wear jeans that don't look appropriate kind of thing in them. So he, they got the cutest jeans. Anyway, she looks really cute. Okay. Sorry. Super sidetracked this morning. I know I'm going to get all the comments about how I'm not organized, not prepared, a big mess. If you are not organized, not prepared, a big mess, you are in the best company here, and that's why we can do this together. If I was perfect, it wouldn't be any fun, right? <laughs> She's just laughing. Okay, so we have, last things were to uh, finish up our family room. You're going to, if you want the checklist, for those of you who don't have the checklist, they are very similar to what's in the planner. They're just, they're the checklist part only. Each day changes. So this stays the same every day. These change. Can y'all see those? And you can click the link in the video to see those for sure. So um, that's backwards. Sorry about that. Um, anyways, that's it. If you're new, um, I'm just, we're just real people around here who want to take care of our houses and our family and our kids and um, do things well, as well as we can, within, with lots of grace. So don't feel like you have to do anything perfect. Shoot for A minus work today. I encourage you, hop up, shine your kitchen sink, turn on a candle, make your home feel especially special. Like today, Reagan, we y'all know we recently moved. We don't have tons. She had some friends to go with her to a farm yesterday. So we don't have tons and tons of people to have a big party. We still made it a little happy over here because she's still celebrating. The girl is turning 15, which means she's getting her driver's license, you guys, which when your baby gets her driver's license, her permit. permit. No. It's just a permit. Okay, come show me your jeans real fast, then we'll hop off. Here's her jeans. Look how cute these are. My husband found these with her. No, I found them. He <laughs> said yes. Aren't those cute jeans for girls? Like, I feel like they're totally, well, stop. <laughs> Yeah, I told her this shirt is a little bit shorter than I would like it to be, but it's mostly appropriate, and y'all know, it's crazy. Anyways, having girls in 2022, I feel for any, I feel for those of you who have children younger than 17 right now, because this environment to raise babies in is not the easiest. As somebody who's raised kids in an older, my older kids, it's easier. Uh, Kansas fam says she can't thank us enough. Your family, you get your checklist out of the dinner table and decide who's going to do what. Kansas family, I love that. That makes me so happy. You are, you've always been a hot mess and I'm okay with it. You know what? It's so fun. Sue, don't you think those were cute, Sue? Sue, I just want to tell you, we've been praying for you. I know you've got surgery coming up, so we are praying for you. And Shannon told me to say she's praying for you. Anyways, um, Cindy, I think she's really cute too. Okay. Y'all, have an amazing day. Pull out your checklist. Shine your kitchen sink. Summit is on his way out. Y'all have a beautiful day, and we will talk to you tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning, I think we're focusing on the sink, so we'll focus on that. And look at her. She just left a dish because I was on video. Right, Reagan? Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. I told them that you, that you call them my ladies. Okay. They're when you ladies. No, your oh, wife is our ladies. See? There's a reason I didn't put it in. It's clean. Start, no, it's about, it's, I've got to start it. Okay. You guys have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.